Dear viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for being here. Today we take a spiritual journey together to Jerusalem's Church of the Holy Sepulchre, a holy place that contains the essence of the Christian faith. Jerusalem's three central Christian sites come together here. Golgotha, the site of Jesus' crucifixion, the stone of anointing where his body was prepared for burial, and the holy tomb from which the Savior rose. About three centuries ago, after the events of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, Emperor Constantine the Great, on the advice of his wife mother, Queen Helena, initiated the construction of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This impressive structure united the holy sites of crucifixion, burial and resurrection under one divine roof. The anointing stone also became a central element of this unified spiritual heritage. And here, before us, lies the anointing stone. For pilgrims walking the Via Dolorosa, the painful path of Jesus, this stone becomes an indispensable stop on their journey of faith. The anointing stone holds immense spiritual significance for believers. Here Jesus was anointed, and then three days later, here Mary Magdalene became the first witness to the resurrected presence of Jesus. An event that symbolizes the victory over death through Jesus and gives all Christians the certainty that they can overcome death and experience eternal life. Amazingly, the anointing stone is the only place in the world where every believing Christian can consecrate objects independently without the intervention of a priest. Every day, thousands of pilgrims flock to this holy site to venerate the anointing stone, sprinkle it with rose water, or place their own crosses on it to receive divine blessing. It is especially recommended to visit the anointing stone early in the day when there are few pilgrims in the temple to experience the unique emotions of this fascinating place in its purest form. Every Christian should consider visiting and experiencing this sacred place to find a connection to their spiritual roots. I hope the spiritual journey resonated with you. If you're interested in visiting more holy Christian places, I would be happy about your like and subscription. Your support helps to share such experiences and motivates me to introduce more sacred places. Thank you for your time. See you next time.